My name is Bill Verco. I'm 72 years old and I live in Richmond. I've got um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It started off with a lump on my back and it's, um, with the chemotherapy that's now disappeared. During the course of the, before the treatment started, they were doing tests and they found I also had lung cancer. We used telehealth to ensure that his son was able to be part of a important conversation Bill needed to have with his doctor. Um, at the time um, we had locked down due to COVID-19 and it meant that visitor restrictions um, meant that his son couldn't attend the appointment in person um, because of rules around social distancing. I don't think we would have been able to arrive at a decision without enlisting the help of telehealth um, to ensure his son was part of the conversation. So this was all set up for us. It was seamless. It was very easy for us just to be sitting there and um, the link was done and my son was able to ask questions from his place that um, we hadn't thought of to the oncologist. And I've never used Zoom before and it, um, I really didn't have to do anything because of the fact that we were sitting in the oncologist's office and it was done for us. I think it's the way to go, if, especially if you can't get there for whatever reason. It's, it's a great way of doing it. You can, you actually f almost face to face with the person and you can, you can see their reactions. It's, yeah, it's as good as being there, I believe. The picture was clear as anything. The um, audio was great, there was no distortion at all. Very impressed with it. Anybody with a cancer diagnosis um, feels quite vulnerable. Um, it is quite an emotional time um, and uh, a lot of uncertainty. Bill felt like um, he often had come away from his appointments with the doctor um, and wasn't able to articulate or communicate back everything that had been said in the doctor's appointments. So it meant that Bill, um, having his son there, um, he could hear it direct.